In this video, let's learn about the columnar epithelium. In the columnar epithelium, the cells are much taller when compared to their width. The nuclei are elongated and they are located in the lower half of the cell. In the vertical section, the cells are elongated in shape. In the vertical section, the cells are elongated and rectangular in shape. And on the surface view, the cells are polygonal. The columnar epithelium is further classified according to the nature of the free surfaces of the cells. Now coming to the simple columnar epithelium, the cell surface has no particular specialization and it is called as a simple columnar epithelium. So this is the simple columnar epithelium. In this ciliated columnar epithelium, the cell surface bears cilia. So it is called as the ciliated columnar epithelium. And there is another type that is the columnar epithelium with microvilli. So these are the columnar epithelium with the cilia, the basement membrane and these are the cilia. And now coming to the columnar epithelium with the microvilli, the surface of this epithelium is covered with the microvilli. The, the microvilli are seen in the electron microscope and in the light microscope they are seen as a striated border or they can be visible as a brush border. The brush border is termed when the microvilli are irregularly placed. This is the columnar epithelium with the microvilli and the striated border. Now let's talk about the location of the columnar epithelium. The simple columnar epithelium is located over the mucous membrane of the stomach and the large intestine. The columnar epithelium with the striated border is mainly seen in the small intestine. And the columnar epithelium with the brush border is seen in the gallbladder. The ciliated, colu the ciliated columnar epithelium lines most of the respiratory tract, the uterus and the uterine tube. It is also seen in the efferent ductules of the testis in the parts of the middle ear, in the auditory tube, in the ependyma lining of the central canal of the spinal cord, and in the ventricles of the brain. And now coming to the function. Some columnar cells have secretory functions that is the apical part of the cytoplasm contains secretory vacuoles and these secretory columnar cells are present in the mucosa of the stomach and intestine. In the intestines, many of the columnar cells secrete mucus and the mucus accumulates in the apical part of the columnar cell and they attain a particular shape by which they are called as the goblet cells. So these are the goblet cells. These are formed due to the excessive secretion of the mucus and they accumulate in the apical part. And some columnar cells secrete enzymes. In the respiratory tract, the ciliated columnar epithelium have the cilia which help in the movement of the mucus that accumulates in the bronchi and the larynx that is present in the bronchi which contains the trapped dust particles towards the larynx and the pharynx. So when the excessive mucus is brought out as sputum during the coughing. And in the uterine tube, the movement of the cilia help in the passage of the ova towards the uterus. And the microvilli increases the surface area of the absorption. So guys, this is all about the columnar epithelium. 
If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.